If you need proof stingrays are back in our local waters, check out this drone video shared with Bay Bulletin. And when they had the drone go up is when they saw that the seafloor was just like covered in stingrays. This is in St. Leonard in Calvert County over Memorial Day weekend. Seven-year-old Elena Amaya was playing with her friends before she ended up in the emergency room after her brush with a stingray. It felt like I kicked a rock. She thought she like walked into a rock. I like did. she thought this she kicked a rock. This um, one did was a rock. Yeah, and that's what we thought afterwards too, because there was like a little scrape on her toe, and then above her toe was where like the puncture wound was. Her mom Janae shared a picture of what was removed. It was small, but the emergency room doctor told her it was the barb from a ray. It was like a pointy, it looked like a thorn from like a rose or something. It was right there, like on the knuckle of her foot. Town I was raised do tend to be found often in very large numbers like this, schools, if you will. Perry Hampton, the curator of Estuarine Biology at Calvert Marine Museum, says we may see their fins locally through October when the water gets cold again. He says Cano's rays prefer saltier water and their bottom feeders going after clams and oysters, which is how Elena's foot encountered one. The ray is just acting defensively. It doesn't like having a foot pushing down on it, on its head, so it rears back with a with a, a barb. Janae Amaya called poison control after her daughter's foot started to swell from the venomous stinger. They route you to somebody in your area when you call poison control, and she said that that was her third stingray sting call of the day, and that she had never gotten one before in her entire career. After that stinger was removed, Elena was prescribed antibiotics for a week. Perry Hampton says we can do the stingray shuffle. You keep your feet on the bottom and you're less likely to get stung. As you shuffle your feet, you're more, they'll more likely to sense that you're, you're nearby and they'll get up and they'll move away. They may feel the, you know, the pressure wave from your, your foot moving. With a whisper in her mom's ear, Elena Amaya passed along her secret for surviving summer. Oh, and stay away from the rocks. Because they're more intriguing to see with our eyes than to feel with our feet. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Big Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.